Hey everybody and welcome back to some of my devlogs. I'm sorry for taking a while since the last video. I actually got sidetracked cranking out this new game for the last few weeks. And that's what I'm going to showcase to you today. Uh, it's called Cannonballs. I don't know if that name is actually available. So I need to double check that and might have to change it before publishing the game. But uh, the idea of the game is that you're a cannon and you are just destroying a bunch of ships that are passing by. I originally made the game for a hackathon type thing, but decided to keep working on it afterwards because I enjoyed the concept so much. Um, what you're seeing right now is the original game, which took a little under 16 hours to make, but it looks absolutely terrible. And so in this video, for the rest of it, I want to talk about the ways that I cleaned up the game and added to it so that it would be a proper mini game for the player. Um, obviously, as you can see, where we're starting is having a bunch of ships randomly spawned onto a plane and you can blow them up until you get 20 points. It's pretty good, it's very simple, but how can we make this more awesome? That's what I wanna address next. The first thing I added was a title to the game. That's important for obvious reasons and gives somebody to get excited, something to get excited about. Um, the next thing I added were levels. Uh, the original game is just sort of this random survival game until you can get a score of 20, but I think it's a lot more fun if you can progress through an actual existing campaign. And so I created 20 levels for four different categories of maps. Um, and I didn't want to build everything by hand, so a lot of the maps are actually generated with an algorithm uh, that creates them procedurally. And I like to try and do something along those lines for most of my games, and I think it worked pretty well for this one. Next, I added a backdrop. So there are, there are props and obstacles within the game that just act as background. You'll never be able to shoot them, the ships will never be able to reach them, but they add a little bit of an aesthetical plus to the game. I don't know if aesthetical is a word, but <laughs> they boost the aesthetic. Um, I also added a weather system to the game, which I think I'm going to do for most of my other games as well, just because it, it adds so much to the ambiance kind of in every regard. Plus, if you're if you're a cannon at sea, you should be able to experience some storms. I think that's really important too. As you can see, there's a lot more types of ships, and they can defend themselves with arrows and other such weapons now, which is awesome. Uh, furthermore, the cannon itself, I added a feature so that you can see where your cannonball goes. And I think this is super helpful and exciting for the player because it adds new angles to the game, but it also allows you to make more precise and informed shots. And you can especially see that when the wind is really acting up in the game and steering your cannonball, or in some situations when you have to use the mortar cannon because a ship is hidden behind a building or another obstacle. And those are the really epic shots. Once you are able to complete a level by destroying all of the ships, there is a personalized fake quote for each level, um, which is there to add a little bit of personality, hopefully be kind of funny. Um, but yes, this along with a couple other things have been added to the game to just make it more fun for the player. And I hope if you do end up playing the game that you enjoy it, but the game isn't entirely finished yet. Once it is, I will try and release it to a couple different websites for computers. PCs and Macs, um, and I'll also try and release it on the App Store and the Play Store so that you can play it on mobile. But I will, I'll have more updates about that in future videos, and I'll try and do a full playthrough of all 80 levels at some point. Maybe grab the highlights and make another video out of that. Anyways, please feel free to like and subscribe. It means a lot to me when you do, and otherwise, have an awesome day, and I'll catch you next time.